So maybe you're familiar with the word of faith movement. Sort of the people that are into name it and claim it. Speak what you want and believe that God will give it and you'll receive it. God will give it to you just because you believed it. That's an example of faith in faith. So I heard a preacher on the radio this week and he was talking about a woman whose husband was ill and he said this woman just, she she committed herself every day over and over again to saying the words out loud, in the name of Jesus, my husband will live and not die. In the name of Jesus, my husband will live and not die. I claim it, Lord, in the name of Jesus, my husband will live and not die. And after a few weeks, her husband recovered. And this radio preacher was saying, see, there's an example of the power of faith, the power of the word of faith to bring about change. And I wish at that moment that I could have introduced that radio preacher to another man I know who was in the same faith tradition whose wife became ill with cancer. And he too spoke the word that she would not die, but in fact she got worse and she died. And then his church spoke to this brother in this time of loss and said, well, you, man, you must not have trusted God. You must not have had enough faith. Not exactly a picture of gospel comfort, is it? Now, we here this morning may reject the false teaching of the word of faith movement, but at the end of the day, many of us functionally believe the same thing. What we have faith in at the end of the day is our own faith. And here's how you know that that's the case. Because when you feel like you are really strong in faith, and you feel like your belief in God is strong, then you generally feel good about how you're doing spiritually. But when you feel like your faith is weak or faltering or not so strong, you doubt where you're at with God, right? What that reveals is that our faith is not always in the truth. Sometimes our faith is in our own faith. It's in our subjective feelings of faith instead of in the truth of who God is and what God has done in Christ. And see, when we're tempted to put faith in faith, which again is rampant all around us in our culture under the name of evangelicalism, when we're tempted to that, what that really is, it's a, it's a misunderstanding of faith in the first place. Okay, so listen carefully. Faith is not like a muscle that gets stronger the more you exercise it. Faith is more like an extension cord that's useless unless it's plugged into the right power source. Faith does not exist as some sort of nebulous abstraction out there, and if you just had more of it, then you'd be okay. Rather, faith is always in something. Faith is a commitment to something. And so what matters is what your faith is in, the object of faith, which is why Titus tells us the goal of gospel ministry is faith in the truth. Because it's faith in the truth that leads to godliness. 